There are times when you upload a file into your WordPress account, you will receive some error. One of the error is that the file is too big. So in your WordPress dashboard, they might limit the size of the file that you can upload there. So in this video, I'll be showing you how you can increase the upload size limit in your WordPress account. Before I begin, if you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Ken and I help business owners to grow using digital marketing. So if you are not subscribed to this channel yet, well, a little bit about this channel. This channel talks about digital marketing entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, do subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. And now, without further ado, let's jump into my computer and I can show you how we can resolve this issue. Let's go. Well, First thing first, I am going to show you how the error looked like. For example, you, I have a very big theme that I wanted to download in. So let's just try. Go to appearance, go to themes, and I want to add new. For example, if I want to upload theme, I just choose a file. Search this file, and I put install now. You see, you have this error. The link you follow has expired. So there's another error where it talks about the file size. When you receive error messages like this, it means that the file size is not enough. It hit the limit. So the file size that I'm uploading is more than what is being set. So now let's check what is the file size limit of this account. There's two ways you can check on it. So the first way is you go to media, then you go to add new, then you can see the maximum upload file here is 2 MB. So 2 MB is quite small. You cannot upload a very nice theme with this. So there's another way for you to check the upload size limit. Another way is go to tools, then go to site health. And when you go to site health, you go to info, then you go all the way down, you go to media handling, and then you will see that the max size of an upload file is 2 MB. Max effective file size is also 2 MB. Now, how do we increase the limit? Now, I'm going to show you three methods that you can use to upload the limit. So, the first one is relatively easy compared to the other two, which need a little bit of coding, right? First of all, you need to log into your cPanel. So, if you're looking for a hosting provider, Name Hero is great. Just ignore the logo, it's just a logo that they put on front, but it's actually a C panel. So, at the C panel, you just have to look for this thing called Select PHP Version. So, you can see here Select PHP Version. All you have to do is just click on it, and you can see the current PHP version here. You just change it according to which one that you want. So, I just changed it to the 7.4, just follow according to the native, and then you go to Options. And when you go to options, then you can see that there is a memory limit, post size limit. So this you can change accordingly. For example, like memory limit is how much memory is allocated, but what we want to change is the post max size and also upload max file size. So I put 16 MB here. Okay, let's just change for example 8 because I'm doing the other two, I'm gonna put it to 16 32. So let's just put 8 and 8. And then you just have to set as current and that's it eight only so you go back to your site health and then you refresh and you go to media handling and you can see it has been increased to eight so it is that easy right the first method now i'm going to introduce you to two other methods which require you to also log into the cpanel but you need to put in some codes into the file so now you go back to cpanel again so when you go to cpanel you find for file manager click on it then you open this file manager. So next thing you need to do is go to the file where your folder is. So I know where is it. So for this, I'm looking for public. This is my domain that I'm using. So you need to find for HD access this file, right? If you cannot find, uh, one way you can do is just you know, search for the file here, or you go to settings and make sure this is show all hidden files sometimes it might be hidden all right now you go to the hd access right click it click on edit click edit so make sure you save whatever that is in here all right so that it, it don't go missing so all you do is just add the, this code this area all right uh, i'll put this in the link in the description box below so just go feel free to go below and just copy and paste into hdc access all right then you just have to save changes now it's success so you go back to your site health and you refresh. Go to media handling and you see it's increased to 16, right? Just now it was 8, 
But when using this method, HTC, it became 16. So uh, let me just clear this off. Save changes. That's the second method, right? Where you have to find HTC access. Okay, the, the third method is look for php.ini file. If it's not there, you need to create it. So uh, I'm in the main folder of the place. I don't see any php.ini. So I need to create file. So you just click here and click on file. So you just type php.ini, right? Create new file. Then you'll see it here, right? Then you click edit, edit. And then you're going to put this code also. I'm going to put it in the, in, in the description box below. So just feel free to use it. Copy the code, just put here, all right? And then you just click save changes. Okay. Then you go back to here. Then you go to refresh again to see your max upload. Go to info, go to media handling. All right. So when we added the php.ini file, we created it. And then when we come here and we refresh and it still show 8M. This just could mean one thing. It means that this hosting provider do not allow us to change the PHP file, which is totally fine, right? So this method still works on certain hosting, but if you don't, try the first two methods instead, right? That's why I put this as a third method because it don't work for every hosting. So I'll just go through what I went through in this video. I went through on what's the error message that you see. I went through on how do you find the max file size. And also I went through three methods. First is using the select PHP function in cPanel. Second is go through to, ex to edit the HD access. And the third is to use php.ini. Uh, but creating the php.ini, we have some problem as well because it's, it don't work on all hosting. But this is one of the proven methods that works. So you can just try it out in case that first two don't work. But usually the first two will do a good job already. All right, hope this is helpful. Thank you. Alright, I hope this is useful for you. If you like what I share, do give me a like or a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future video. Again, I hope this is useful for you and thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. Goodbye!